And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Baron Breakfast. Yeah. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Or maybe your day is just starting, or maybe your day is just ending. Whatever it is, I hope you're having a good one regardless. So in today's episode, we need to complete the stay for six plus guests at Hyde Lake, which we absolutely will. And I think maybe having a concierge here in uh, the, the ranch probably will be the best thing for for us, I think. I think. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if it's gonna be the best. Wait a sec. Have I always been using this? Wait, whoa, whoa, time out. Have I always been using this? I thought there was the, the workbench over here, no? No, it wasn't a workbench over here. Was that one down there the whole time? Yeah, I guess so it was. All right, well, I don't know why I forgot that all of a sudden, but I did. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Let's go into here. And see what we got going on. So I would love to build a concierge desk. Uh, another one. I know it's going to be rather expensive to do. To have two concierges going at the same time. But maybe what I do is I bring in the concierge here. And uh, get rid of the concierge at the other place. Maybe that's what I do instead. Regardless, we got to make sure that we uh, get rid of this. Thank you. And then put this bad boy in. Yes, now that somebody's out of that bed, right? Because before the bedroom was just in the way. Hey, concierge. Concierge. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Put it right there. No, right here. Put it right there. Perfect. That works out. I love the... Oh, you can't see. It's very hard to see, but uh, there's like a very, very small step for Gus. How cute. Um, so there we go. Now, all we need to do is just kind of uh, do a little bit of detailing here. Add the concierge to here and make the concierge run its course, I guess. I don't know. Guest booking staff. Turn on. And uh, this is a hard one. This is a hard one indeed. Why is it a hard one? Because we're not very efficient, so to speak, in the food department here. We're not very efficient in the... Well, I think really we just need to worry about the food department. Uh, the hygiene isn't too bad. It's just the food that can definitely get a little bit crazy. So I'm going to build the concierge desk, but it doesn't mean I'm going to use the concierge desk quite yet. Now, one thing that I could definitely do is take towns upstairs and start building on what we have up here, continuing to add more rooms and having more guests, right? Obviously, did I not go the right way? Uh, excuse me. Go down there we go <laughs> all right so what we'll do is we'll start building into that because we do have a little bit of money we have about two grand to work with so let's go here and let's go up a floor there we go fantastic and let's start building some rooms up here so this is going to be again strictly just for bedrooms i'm going to go with the four by three uh layout once again put this room right here that's going to do just fine 120 dollars easiest 120 dollars i've ever spent and then what we'll do that is what we'll do is we'll do it again Yeah, we'll do it again. We'll go boom. Three. Was it three by four? Yeah, that, that's fine. There we go. We'll do that. Add that right there. And that will be that. And then what we'll do is now we'll throw in another hygiene. Having a bathroom here. Make it go like that. A three. That would be a two by four. We'll do a three by four. There we go. Do a little bit of that action. And then add one more. We're going to need to build these uh, utilities as well. Get a little comfort. There we go. Add more. And this just really maximizes our profits across the board, right? There we go. That actually works out pretty uh, pretty damn good. Yeah, pretty damn good indeed. I'm very happy with that. Do we not have enough money? Uh, pardon me. Oh, this is in the way. <laughs> yeah, I do like this. Okay, we can add probably one more room and one more room only. Let's do that. Having more guests in here is what we need. Two, four, and three. We'll make this a luxury, kind of like the luxury suite, so to speak, right? The luxury suite. A little bit of extra room, no? F, what just happened? You cannot build a room down, uh, rooms around stairs? Uh, I, uh, all right. Do I go like this instead? Oh, I see. Okay, so this isn't going to be the luxury suite. This is going to be just a plain old room, so to speak. All right, there we go. Let's actually move this window right over here. Perfect. So there we go. We've added four additional rooms into our giddy up here. Let's go ahead and throw down some. Um... I mean, is it really like if we can already, let's just go ahead and put the level two bedrooms in. Sorry, level two beds. Four iron nails. To make four beds, we could technically do it. 
Let's just do it. I guess. Let's just do it. Or right, we'll switch on over. We'll add one bed there. How do I want to do this? So I want to rotate it that way and add the beds? Or do I want to do it that way? I kind of like that way. Let's go like that. There we go. There we go. And this one's just, I don't know, dude. That's fine. Okay, cool. All right. So we got beds in there technically. Decoration and all that jazz we're going to need to add also. A little bit of a vanity. Let's add four vanities, please. There we go. And then four level two cushioned footrest. Very good. All right. Let's add those bad boys. Vanity goes uh, right there is fine. Make sure to shift click. There we go. There we go. And put that right there. Cool. Did I put that in right? I did. And then we'll go with the footrest. These these are weird. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. The footrests are a little strange to me, kind of. Like, that's what it says, right? Footrest? Cushion footrest. Yeah, it is very strange to me. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, so this is looking good. Now, let's go ahead and start crafting stuff for our uh, showers. Let's see here. Do I have anything on that? That's not a shower. That's actually a bar tap. Let's not do that. Uh, please bring me my hygiene. There we go. One of those. One of those. One of those. Hopefully, we can get more and better uh, uh, like hygiene stuff because this is just terrible. It's awful. It's gone awful. There we go. And then rusted sink. Nice. Okay, so one thing that we could do is add a little bit of decoration. If we have a little bit of decoration to give, do we have a little bit of decoration to give? Um, really not in our inventory, but we can go take a look at Took. Our valuables are running really, really low, though. Our farmhouse has a procedure level 4 now, which I think is good, right? I don't know what it was at before, if I even changed the procedure. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know. We're really just kind of worrying about uh, completing the, the the quest today. Or, you know, completing the six guests today. Uh, so let's see here. Anything I can just kind of throw up there without having to really worry about it. Uh, I could add one wall tapestry, which is not really worth it at all. Um, a medium stitch rug is sort of worth it in a way, but I can't afford it with 40 and we only have 36. So maybe what I do is I just kind of walk away from that a little bit. Now, there is some valuables right there on the ground. That was 10 valuable. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and buy the medium stitch rug, and I'm going to throw it up there as a throw rug or a run rug. I think that's what they're called, right? Run rugs? Run carpets? Maybe that's what they're called. Run carpets or something, rather. You know, something that you just have on into, the, you know, just out, out and about in the house or wherever you're at. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go upper level. Upper level, please. Thank you. And this is a very um, European thing, I think. Uh, in 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 European uh, like uh, European ways, like this is level zero, right? This is level one. Now in the states and and the you know America here, maybe even to Canada, if you're getting a little spicy, this is not level zero. This is level one for us. This is level two for us when we're in an elevator. So, you know, be careful if you're using an elevator because you might get lost where you're actually going. So we'll have this little medium stitch rug go right through there. That looks pretty good. Does that add our, to our prestige? I think it did. Maybe, possibly. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get out of that. All right, as a bear, let's go check on our kitchen, see how our food is doing. Is it holding up? Corn on the cob holding up, and the chamomile tea is all, chamomile tea is also holding up as well. Now let's see if we can get more people in. Also, let's collect those valuables. Let's see if we can get more people in for maybe tomorrow. Let's see if our request. Two more uh, requests coming in. Eleven comfort. Yeah, 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 yeah. The food is too high there, and the decoration is too high. That's right. Uh, we had just too too high for these people. All right, that's okay. All right, let's go about. Grab a couple of more materials. It doesn't seem like anybody uses the, the, the campfire. I mean, that bucket of marshmallows looks pretty tasty. I do it to say, but the fact that nobody uses it, it's a little, you know, it hurts. It hurts, man. I want to see people doing that, you know? And the fact that we had that giant area and we could only put one bench in there still hurts a little bit. I, it is what it is, I guess, but, like, I don't know. I would rather have that entire area and put multiple benches than just have, like, you know, not, I guess. Does that make any sense? It does. It, it makes some sense to some degree, I guess. I don't know. Maybe Julia has something to tell us about something, rather. Hello, Julia. 
Now, do you have any new recipes? No new recipes from Julia. That's fine, because we have plenty of recipes. Let's talk to Julia. Oh, no! I should really stop getting scared so easily. I'm sorry. I know. A big bear just walked into your house. I probably would be scared, too, Julia. So, don't, uh... Don't really, uh... <laughs> don't be, uh... Don't self-doubt yourself. You have every reason to be scared there. All right, it is getting a little bit uh, darker. Might as well go check on the other uh, places that we have here and uh, see how they're doing. Maybe we can find some more valuables. Oh, what is that? What was that? Oh, that was more valuables. Good. Maybe we can find more valuables. We can go on a valuable hunt uh, search here. Or what I could also do is just really just walk around this area and see if there's any cool things we can find or cool things to do or cool things to rebuild kind of like statue wise and, and, and things of that nature they will take that take all of that there we go there's some good valuables just chilling on the side of the road maybe that's the best thing to do is just like go up and down the road and maybe you can find a lot of litter in real life you would be able to is that some chamomile yep some chamomile indeed cool 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 and i think some across the street too as well yep there it is awesome very cool now we haven't gone on this main road so this is the first time we're seeing like the dam go down and that's pretty cool i like to see that hopefully nobody's driving down this road they're gonna see a bear walking down this road rocking down the street with a hat and some pants on still can't get over the fact that we have pants on the hat i could get by probably like a bear in a hat probably would not surprise me um a bear in some pants with a little bit of a tail coming out the back end it's too cute to be true right anyways look at sabine sabine's having a wonderful day let's actually talk to sabine Hey, Sabine. Uh, being afraid of heights just means you haven't seen everything that's down there yet. All right, that's one way to look at it. But I totally disagree with you. I'm sorry, Sabine. I'm going to have to just slightly disagree with you. Uh, let's go this way. Let's see if there's anything up here that we can get. More chamomile, it seems. More wood. There we go. Not a lot more valuables, though. That's the down. I mean, downside or not, the fact that they're not littering as much is a good thing. But that just means that we just don't have enough for us for ourselves good to see that it's back up into place and it's advertising a dam so this monument this is a weird looking uh, thing here right this this monument this billboard is advertising the dam that just so happens be the same dam that they just drove past on the way up the hill they have to drive that they have to drive past the dam right to see that <laughs> to see that billboard so you drive past the dam, and then on your way up the mountain, you see a billboard of the dam you just passed. It's not advertising, hey, you're going to come see this awesome dam if you keep driving this way. No, it's like, hey, that was the awesome dam you just saw. You might want to turn back around. I think I'm just looking too into that, too far deep into that. Anyways, let's go ahead and sleep for the night, and that will be our probably sixth guest there. There we go. Sleep, sleep, sleep. With a bear, a bear in a hat, and a bear in a pants. All right, everybody, check out. Time to get out. We've completed the animal farm, indeed. Thank you for all your valuables. Thank you for all your money. And get out. Here's the new guests coming through. They're so happy to be here. They say we cannot wait. Check into this awesome place. And we're going to go and talk to our shark boy. Studies suggest that delayed gratification can be a serious condition. Uh, with potentially life-changing implications, protect yourself and your family today with our two-for-one special. All right. I think I met your um, standards. Congratulations for once again achieving the most coveted standard of all, the bare minimum. This location has multiple opportunities for further advancement, but our data suggests that your tendency towards a quick and superficial fix is the perfect opening to search for a new expansion location. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the pond network, find your local pond shark and just press the green button. So, all right, they want to introduce us to another place. Look at that. What a beautiful view. I guess so. I guess we got to go talk to the old lady again. Come over here when you get the chance, darling. How did you yell that with a roaring dam going all the way, you know, all that water going down? Did you just like yell that and I heard you? <laughs> How did I hear you? Questions need to be answered here. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and uh, get prepared for our guests in the future. So we have 10 bedrooms and we have a lot of guests that want to be coming to this place. Uh, 23 decoration is just too high for me. Uh, our rule, our rule. I might be able to get away with our rule with 14 hygiene. Yes, it won't be the best hygiene, but the comfort 
will be great and the decoration will be great and the food will be great hopefully that makes up for that going inside them uh reagan also too high of a decoration and fat fatima 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 um i'll go ahead and bring you into the mix here as well uh myra we also will bring you to the mix and alicia we will also bring you to the mix there we go we got the most out of it that we could so that's good uh requests accepted what the heck very good what is this is this the billboard welcome to the pond voyage leadership and advancement program you can now further improve this establishment successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location also increasing payout and bragging rights in order to improve this premise you must now successfully complete the following tasks serve plan 10 plus meals in high lake reward a special trinket that will make cooking slightly easier i'm intrigued do you feel able to complete this task i do task in progress please return once the job is complete so that's going to be very passive to do i believe we can do that without having to really do anything look at that somebody's already going for the food multiple people going for the food three people going for the food they already love it how much food do i have left well enough that should be 10 meals no problem no problem at all if they want more corn on the cob i will give them more corn on the cob right yeah all right nonetheless let's go ahead and continue <laughs> let's continue our way oh uh, a boat oh yeah a boat we need 15 iron nails you know 15 iron nails is like gold in this game one of the most valuable things that you could get possibly in this game and you want it so i can rebuild you your boat i don't think so barbara how you doing barbara hope you're doing well what's going on barbara ah shh gentlemen listen i'm listening soft bear noises there's always wisdom in the whisper of the water even if this one is particularly loud whisper isn't it funny how the more you listen the quieter it gets and too much quiet can be quite dangerous especially for someone who's had a few bells rung in their life no need there's always something making noise in my body what i can't what i can't hear you you're always in the right spirit. I couldn't help but notice that the captain's garden is open for business again. He always grew the sweetest corn. It sure seems like your paws are soft, like uh, little hunks of magic. I can't remember the last time I saw the whole valley so active that people look so happy. You're doing such a great job. Thank you, old lady. No, you're doing such a great job! Can't take a compliment, bear noises? Say... I think all this hiking has me a little famished. Seeing you as, uh, seeing as if <laughs> you fast-tracked your gourmet inclinations, I was wondering if you would be willing to get an old girl a little snack and a little taste of home, I guess. What would you like? Cook her a mushroom soup? You got it. Mushroom soup coming right up. Yep, yep, yep. Mushroom soup coming right up. I think this should be fairly easy to make. We have plenty of mushrooms. Um. And that's all I got. <laughs> I think we have all ingredients. We might, I don't know, we might have to take a trip down to the witch. We might. And if we have to, then that's fine, I guess. It might give us a chance to look at the A24, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go make the mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. What do I need for the mushroom soup? I need onions, I need mushroom, and I need wood so just onions okay yeah let's do this baby so we want to boil two things we want to boil onions and we want to boil mushrooms we also want to add a little bit of fuel to that no sorry fuel to that and put a little fuel and we want to cook it right up send it Woo. hey you know what 12 mushroom soups is not bad because that will also give us uh, a little bit of leeway with our actual uh, diners here or are people that are asking for food right because i only think she's i think she only is going to need like two right or one maybe one mushroom soup and then i can give the rest to the guests here yeah that's what i'm hoping Let's walk out the door and go ahead and give it to barbara can't believe we're on day 20 and mom has not been uh an itch worried she's not worried whatsoever good for her <laughs> you know what she probably enjoys the nice peace and quiet at the thicket for all i know Hello, Barbara. We got you your mushroom soup. Have you gotten anything for me? Why, yes, yes, I do. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. 
Oh, that smell. Like pine bark and mildew. Ah, that sure hits the spot. Warms the darkest crevices of your soul. This will. I'm convinced now that if any, if I see any hungry faces, I can send them your way. Well, that little pick-me-up gave me all the energy I needed. It's time I get going now. I hope I'll see you again, you lovely big creature. <laughs> I love how she has a little apron on, too. How funny. I didn't notice that until now. Look at her go. Uh-oh, there's Julia. Does Julia have something to say? Yeah, there is Julia. She looks worried. Hopefully she's not too worried. Maybe she's maybe she's happy. Maybe she's thankful. Hello, Julia. Oh, hi. Sorry I startle easily. No, I get it. I scare myself all the time. You're still here? I mean, of course you're still here. Uh, I, I thought you'd be busy with all the people in the houses and everything. Well, I'm not saying you're not. I'm sure those take a lot of work. And skill, and brain, and good looks. Yeah, those two. Ever since you came along, I've been thinking. Now, I've been stuck in a run around here, doing the same thing, getting lost in my own routine. I don't even mind the sound the big black rock makes at night anymore. I think I want to try something new. Oh, I could take you to meet my buds. Or, or, or I can introduce you to the, to the rat mob. They're mean, but they have a funny accent, so it's okay. What? Leave? As in not here? Oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking more in the realm of trying out some new recipes to cook. Oh, yeah, I, that's that's fun too, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Why do I need to go somewhere if I can just get a little taste of it at home? Kind of like traveling in your mouth. I beg your pardon? <laughs> yeah, I love my garden, but it doesn't uh, grow a lot of stuff. Do you think you could try and find me some more unfamiliar ingredients? Something that doesn't grow here. Something that's fresh and zesty. I, I mean, I guess I could try. I don't know where to look for something fresh and zesty and out of the ordinary. Talk to Sabine about helping Julia. All right, let's go talk to Sabine. Hey, Sabine. I think I need something apparently uh, fresh and zesty. Hey, if it isn't the most charming bear on the side of the town. It's only because I haven't been to the other side of the town yet. <laughs> I was just about to pack up. What can I do for you? I'm on the lookout for some fresh food things to find for a friend. Well, there's plenty of fruits and roots that grow around here. Oh, and if you're looking for something a little more special, there's used to be a greenhouse up north near the old Winter's Lodge. I don't know if it's up to snuff anymore, but they kept some pretty peculiar seeds there. How would one waddle there? You follow the road north past the broadcast station. And right up into Winterberry, I doubt the keepers would still be around. Ain't no harm in checking. I'll open up a path for you. But I'm waddling my own uh, my own behind straight back to the town after. There's These trees ain't going to watch themselves. Thanks, Beanie. You're the best. New rounds unlocked. Very good. Winterberry. Uh, Whitestone Bay. Cool. Oh, aren't you a big, soft, so, a big softy? All right. So go to Winterberry through the high lake. And that will take us... To this, I guess, abandoned greenhouse, so to speak. Yeah, I guess this abandoned greenhouse. I'm all for it. Getting the new zesty fresh seeds or weird seeds for Julia. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> what kind of zesty and weird seeds, like, is she thinking? Like, could it be um, zucchini that is just wild? Because she'd be like, wow, a zucchini is, is is crazy. Cucumbers are crazy. This is awesome to see, right? I don't know. Can I go in there and get that, like, very high valuable, like, <laughs> material? Hey, thank you very much, Carrie, for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it, Carrie. Grab a couple of things here. Here we go. Now, we did clean up this place a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be of use for us right now. Maybe later on in the story it will be. But we'll have to make a mental note for that. 100%. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump right on in to Winterberry. Now we're going to be a bear in the snow. I love it. I like it. I actually want it. Winterberry. Alright. Don't get into the mood of hibernation here, Hank. We got to make sure that we keep our head on straight. 
We are not in the winter time, I don't think. At least I don't think we are. We're just in a location that's very wintry. So don't get hungry. Let's not fall asleep. And let's continue with our path here through Winterberry. What the heck is this place? Hopefully I can find some more iron nails. That's one thing I'm looking for the most. Iron nails. Iron nails changes everything. It really does. This looks like... I don't even know what this could be. This could be anything, I guess. But it's going to be a lot of valuables in my pocket, so that's good. There we go. Add a little bit of that. Add a little bit of that. Oh, baby, there it is. Some five iron nails. That's exactly what we needed. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Add some of that. There we go. Should have quite a bit of valuables on us now, huh? All right, let's continue up this way to the northwest. Oh, got it. Only hard thing about snow, and this goes for any game, is trying to figure out pathing, because you never know if you're running into a rock or what, because all of it's covered by snow. Uh, who the heck are you? You look damn well adorable. You look like a friggin' puffy dog. You sit like a puffy dog? Excuse me, who are you? Jax? Oh, uh, the air suddenly feels a little warmer. I guess. Oh, in the middle of icy nowhere, deep in the heart of the Winterberry, reside Jax the Mistiff. Mastiff, sorry, Mastiff. Uh, this is incredible. He's probably maybe my favorite character I've found so far. Uh, just looks alone. His gentle and warm approach seemed deliberate from, uh, for a place this cold. If anyone knew how to kindle a fire, it was probably Jax. Oh, very well. Hello, Jax. It's rare that I don't have to look downwards to speak to someone. Even rarer to not have to look up to face one of your kind. Did you just compliment and snub me at the same time? No such thing. Neither or, n neither or do any good to the mind. I will praise or condemn only deeds, not things you had no hand in. It's okay. I don't like getting either. I don't know what to do with them. What does a young brown bear need from a frigid place like this? My name is Hank, and I'm putting together a group of remarkable friends to save the world. Mm, are you? No, but uh, now you might actually believe the second thing now. I'm rebuilding things throughout the valley, and and bringing back humans because of a greedy shark. Oh, <laughs> interesting. I love how his eyes perked up there. That's kind of funny. Why? Uh, what do you mean why? Because the inflatable fish said so. But why are you doing it? Well, because. Well, because I like helping? So it's the kindness in your soul then? Yeah, I think. Oh. And, uh, I'm lo also looking for something, uh, zesty. Well, Hank, that might be something I could help you with. But I'd like to see that group you're putting together first. And we can discuss aromatics afterwards. I can get started on building stuff. That sounds like a plan. And Hank, make sure the ki that kindness eventually finds its way back. Oh, very good. I love Jackson, his little tiny, uh giddy up here this is very cool very cool i like seeing them sit too find a way to repair one of the ski cabins can i actually get fruit from i can get lemon from your oh my god he just scratched his ear damn it that was cute as well <laughs> very good i can take your lemons from your lemon tree very well all right let's go try to figure out your cabin all right all right <laughs> that was so funny is this a holy crap this place is massive. That place was. I don't know if that's the place that I'm going to be working on later, but that was huge. Grab that. Oh, baby. You already know. Got to make sure we installed the fast travel system. Fast travel system has been unlocked. Thank you very much. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Let's see here. The pond voyage with the shark. Ay, 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 ay. Why drive to paradise when you can fly? Automobile trade-ins now available. Only applies to one-way tickets or less. Press the green button. Hello, I think I'm freezing my tail off. We here at Pond Voyage are committed to offer only the utmost standard experience to our valuable customers, which is why this location will feature breakthrough advancements in the hospitality industry. Above freezing temperatures, exactly. Please return once a suitable venue has been established. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. that. That's really what I'm trying to get at here. Yeah, this big place is going to be our giddy up here. And, uh, oh my god, the ski resort uh, sign takes 10 iron nails. Which, again, 
playing with gold there. But wow, look at all this trash here. Thank you, Took. There we go, buddy. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. All of it. I don't even know how much garbage I have, and it's probably a lot. How much garbage? Three four three fifty nine. Okay, not as much as I thought. I thought I was gonna have a little bit more, but that's all right. There we go. I'm trying to just pick up that piece of trash. There we go. Thank you. So yeah, we have a big, big lot here. The biggest lot we've had, and it's like multiple buildings. I think it looks like. Let's see here. Big Ski Cabin Sign. Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the Big Winter Cabin. Would you like to repair it? I absolutely would. Uh, step one, clear out the debris. Garbage inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, this probably will produce a lot of iron nails. There's a cup. There's one, actually. One iron nail there. Six iron nails there. That's really good. Uh, five air iron, iron nails there. One there. It's gold, dude. It's like gold. I'm telling you. Yeah. Only, oh, there's an upstairs. Let's grab a little bit of that. Two iron nails there. Grab a little bit. Hopefully, iron nail. Yeah, two more iron nails there. All right, let's go upstairs, please. Ah, look at that. Oh, that's so good. So, so good. So big. All right, back downstairs. Go and get all the garbage out. Now, I don't know if I need to do this at the other place, too. I might. Oh, my God. $632 gained from the guests that did their thing. Very good. Cool, cool, cool. More iron nails there. It's going to get hard after a while trying to figure out, uh, you know, trying to keep up with everything, though. There we go. We'll fix that. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Make sure we grab the trash. But might as well do both of these cabins. I'm assuming I'm going to need to do both of them anyways. There we go. Walk inside. Any iron nails? No iron nails. Grab that. Iron nail there. I'm assuming I should. Well, that had seven, so never mind. I'm going to answer my question for me. I'm going to be replacing the ski resort sign. Yeah, that definitely, I got a lot there too. Yeah, so we should have quite a bit of nails on this now. Not going to be enough, I don't think, but um, I guess enough to get us started, but not enough to really finish out the entire both cabin, I know. Uh, let's see here. Welcome to this. Yeah, would you like to repair it? Absolutely. Let's do it. Step one, clear out the debris. Uh, we did that. To yeah, 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 we're good. We're good. Step two, gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, iron plates, pine wood planks, and steel screws. Which, we got that, baby. Tony's construction service, have all the materials been required? Yes, they have. All right, get your butt to work. So this must be the, sm I guess this is considered the small cabin, and the other one isn't. I don't know, they both kind of seem like the same size, to be fair. Serve 10 meals. We did do that. That's very good to see that we got that done and out of here. And then this must be the big one, right? Yeah, this is the big. So this is big cabin. The other one's small cabin. Got it. So there is, a, there is a difference between the two. And we have all the materials that we need. There we go. Get your butt to work. Oh, yeah. That's definitely bigger now that I see it. I see. I see. Oh, it looks very good, though. It looks fantastic. All right. So we did that. So now we can go ahead and find... Or go talk to Jax again. I'm going to repair this because we have 37 iron nails. This is going to cost 10. Let's not get too crazy with our iron nails, but I think this is worth it nonetheless. It gives it a grand entrance. There it is. A rundown sign made beautiful once more. It says, hello there. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> Very well. And then I'll go ahead and make my way back to Jax. Actually, you know what? I want to make my way back to uh, High Lake. And I'm going to go ahead and complete that quest so I can get that amulet or that trinket. Sorry, that trinket. See what the whole, uh, you know, the um, the uh, easy cooking is all about. Is the job complete? Why, yes, it is. Congratulations. This greatly benefits this location. I guess we'll now have a higher expectations. Recipe book. Find it in your collectibles. Oh, okay. And we'll offer a higher payout in return. So hang on a sec. This is something just in the collectibles, right? So this is automatically installed into our person, yes? It looks like it has to be, yep. So what makes cooking so much easier with this uh, thing? Uh, ooh, let's grab the trash here, make sure this is all cleaned up. Yeah, hi, how you doing? Um, oh, we have no food, that's terrible. What makes cooking so much easier? I mean, honest with you, I have no idea how and why. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do raw, raw butter. We're going to go raw butter. And then we're going to roast, sorry, roast some corn. 
add a little bit of corn oh baby and then run it with some fuel and give me the fuel please there we go and cook it maybe it goes faster 10 corn on the cob i don't know i'm really not sure what makes it uh like the trinket make it easier or better or faster maybe it will tell me later who knows loot it all all right that's good for now i'm gonna put food in our place here i gotta sneeze so bad <laughs> holy crap it's okay though i promise you it's fine all right let's do this there we go and we will leave them happy with the food that they have thank you all righty so <laughs> that will do its thing now let's see what the next quest so to speak would be i don't know if i want to accept it quite yet but i i am curious build one level two dining room for 450 coins that's not that bad but i don't think i mean i could add a bunch of decorations in there would you like to accept this job not right now just not right now i will come back to this probably but i won't do it at this given time in the meantime, let's go back to Jax and see how Jax is doing. Tell Jax that we have all the cabins up and running and that he shouldn't have to worry about anything for the time being. All right. Maybe he can get his little uh, ma Mastiff booty down to the cabin, start wagging that tail, and start attracting some guests. If I saw a giant Mastiff in front of the, in front of the uh, cabin rolling around in the snow, I would probably stop and be like, you know what? This looks like a good place for me. Look at him. Hey. Hmm, yes. The building stuff is done. Impressive. Thanks. Hmm. Uh, oh well. Uh, hello, it's still me. Yes, it certainly is. Yes, well, as you know, I'm putting together a group of remarkable people to save the world, yes? Right, and you know the world is a lot colder than, than they thought. Especially around these parts. You can certainly bristle the coat on your back. And I was wondering if this group of, you know, extraordinary beings needed to get extraordinary warm uh, even for a little bit. Oh, uh, and their laser eyes weren't working today because the wind makes them cry. How would they get around to keeping warm? How would, uh, yeah, not that they don't know. Of course they do. But they also couldn't help but notice the thick fur and fireplace back there. I see. Yes, well, I would reckon these incredible people would have to first go on a critical mission. Mission? Yes, yes, yes. A mission of great importance. A rescue and recovery mission of crucial assets. They would be willing, no inclined, to go on this mission. <laughs> yes, of course they would. The secret riches they would be so inclined to fetch are located near the coastline. In Whitestone Bay, a box of highly delicate material can be found near the end of the cliff. Message received. What's in the box? Some rocks. Rocks? Rocks. I see. It is of the utmost importance that this objective is retrieved and delivered to me. And then we can see about warming up this crew. Right. Okay. Yeah. So go to Whitestone Bay through Timber Crossing to pick up, I guess, some rocks? Moon rocks? I, I, I don't know what kind of rocks, but some kind of rocks. So let's head back on over to Timber Crossing, please. Uh, that would be there. Yeah, Timber Crossing. Travel back there. Oh, I see. I see. It's, it probably has to do with that um that White House. Or not White House. I'm, I'm an idiot. Lighthouse. To the east? Yeah, it is to the east. Yep. The Lighthouse. Not the White House. Why would a White House be out here? It'd be the Lighthouse. Ah, very cool. I love me some lighthouses. Yeah, that looks awesome. It's raining, thunderstorm, lightning. Barbara's here. What a beautiful view. Come over here when you get the chance, darling. Uh, Yeah, Barbara, you know it's like raining sideways. You got no problem with that, Barbara? Honey, I definitely got to go for the honey. I'm a bear. Come on now. Oh, excuse me. Wade? Whoa there. Little guy coming through. Watch your step. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Wade. Oh, it's no bother, mister. I'm used to a little trampling. Come to take me back Take me back to the boss again? What? No, I wasn't even looking for you, actually. Oh, well, I see. Didn't I just bring you back? What are you doing here anyways? If Mr. A didn't send you, please don't tell him I'm gone, mister. I don't think he'll notice either way. 
He seemed pretty fussed about it last time. He even came out of all the way to my house just to get me to look for you. Did he really? Well, <laughs> that's just because he finally figured out I was behind on my scavenge quota. You wouldn't believe how much garbage is actually just useless junk. It takes a real keen eye and a moist sniffer to fish out the really good stuff. And even then, it's barely good enough, Wade. And you're lucky you got what you got, Wade. And don't put that in your mouth, Wade. I get the last one, all right? <laughs> I thought it, you know, I thought that if he sent after me, he must have at least missed me, right? Maybe cared a little. But as soon as uh, you were gone, he just put me back to digging in the muck. Because that's all I'm good for. A pair of paws. Well, I'm sure that's not true. You're also uh, very, uh, easy to accidentally step on. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you saying that. So anyways, I left again. I reckon maybe the garbage is greener on the other side, you see? Like he always said, rubbish doesn't wait around for trash, Wade. Hmm, yes, very sensible, I guess. He's always so smart, Mr. A. Anyways, I was just about to go blind with a hunger before you came along. So if I'm not keeping you... Wait, 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 wait. I can help with that. I just recently learned how to cook stuff all on my own. And, well, I don't want to brag, but I nailed the boiling temperature for water almost every time. The trick is not to test it with your mouth. That does sound pretty delicious. And well, if it isn't too much of a bother, there is one thing I'd really like to try. A kind of soup. French onion soup? What are you, big, bad, and bougie? I saw it in a movie once. Once. They don't make lots of those for rats, you know. I'm sorry, you like uh, referencing a Stuart Little movie there that I'm not uh, familiar with? But I gotta bring rat tat to it? A freaking onion soup? Are you sure? Hey! All right. I'm gonna need to get a bus sign so I can get a fast travel system out here too. My lord, what is happening to us? We're just getting caught up in all of it, huh? Hello, Barbara. You know, it's funny. I just stopped to catch my breath. It's as if I was sitting for you to show up. And it, wouldn't you know it, my little uh, bared and angel. Uh, dot, 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 or and or dot, dot, dot. Exasperated bear noises. I haven't been to the bay in ages. I forgot how purple the sky can get sometimes. In that brief moment, when the sun confronts the sea, before calling it a night and promising to return the next day, the captain always had stories about the sun and the moon. No matter where he went, he said, they always kept their distance from the sailors, but still they seemed to egg them on, teasing them with a rare dance barely twice a day, like a dog with a ball, desperately asking you to throw it straight from their mouth. <laughs> Um, you always get dreamy around large bodies of water, don't you? You got me interested about that last part, honestly. Uh, let's do that. You know, it's a real shame not a single boat's been on this side of the valley in so long. It's way too dangerous, of course. No lighthouse to guide them at, at all. And I sometimes miss the captain's stories. He even called in for his ship every once in a while, the radio static building up the tension. While he painted a canvas with his words, I thought of a lot about the static recently, but I've hardly ever had any luck in finding a receiver. There used to be one up in the lighthouse before it all went down the crapper. I just heard a boat. Do you reckon you'd be up for another little investigation for an old hag? Sure, throw me up in a lighthouse. I got no problem with that. <laughs> uh oh, I have a problem with that. The stairs are actually collapsed. <laughs> There's a side entrance, don't worry. It's okay, Barbara. Right. There is like boats off to the right. Yeah, off to the east. You can hear them. They're roaring, man. All right, let's see what we have here. Any more freaking nails. If I can get any more iron nails, I will be happy. Going up. 21st floor. Menswear. Oh, that was a new thing. Let's see here. Uh, there, that's good. That's good. No iron nails for the record. Oh my lord. I did get the receiver. Okay, so that that weird item that I got, that I was like, oh, what is that? That was the receiver. Okay, very good. Down there. There we go. I'm going to grab a little bit of metal stuff out here just to see if I get lucky with some iron nails. And I do not. All right. Might as well pick up this stuff while I'm here. There we go. All right, Barbara. I got what you needed, and I got everything that you wanted. That is <laughs> the transceiver, all right? Or the receiver. Sorry, the radio receiver. <laughs> and then we got to get sauna stones. Sauna stones is what Jax is looking for over here. Sauna stones. I've never heard of sauna stones. I don't know. Maybe sauna stones are a real thing. 
Any luck finding a radio receiver? Yeah, I actually have it. Approving bear noises. Oh, goodness. Well, that that's it. Yeah. Give it here. Um, darling. Very well. <laughs> Static noises. Come on, you piece of... Oh, um, excuse me. Be careful what you wish for, Barbara. Who knows? Tonight, at 5, we finally found out the different, 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 differentiates a hippo from a zippo. Oh, you little... Now, a new study published suggests that, yes, crabs do think people walk sideways. <laughs> Just five days before the annual showing of the lights, a yearly tradition that's been a staple. Wait. For children and parents alike, the festivity, now recognized as a national holiday, brings a joyful reminder to people all over the country of the independence they fought for. Almost 15 years ago, but no one will be celebrating as hard as the party animals on this new pond lion cruise liner. This is it. Cheers in the background. I'll tell you what, Gary. Working below minimum wage feels like the last thing on these people's minds right now. <laughs> or mine. Click. I, uh, have somewhere to be. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. I like the uh, the humor in this game. It's pretty good, no? I, I like it. I, I think it's brilliant. All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and help out Jax. What the heck is that? A ginger. Oh, it's ginger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice ginger. All right, Jax, you and your um spicy little uh, sauna stones somewhere out here in this crate, right? Yeah? There you go. Sauna stone? Sauna stone. Oh, I wonder if we're building a sauna. Duh. Yeah, sauna stones for saunas. Yes, yes, yes. Saunas in the winter. Now that makes sense. Now there's a crab in here. Iron nails. Uh, pardon me. Who are you? The flight. What the heck? His dark and red mantle will envelop the world. His ardent claws will tear your soul from its fleshy prison. His blood eyes are so dreamy. What the hell are you? I'm getting out of here. That was weird as hell. Where am I? <laughs> is there a bunch? Oh, iron nails in that. Is there a bunch of like bumper cars in there? There is bumper cars in here. Iron nails. A microphone. This looks like it would be fun. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm right there with you, brother. Okay, very good. Sure. And I'll be back with your damn, uh, what is it? Your French onion soup. Once I take this, uh, well, I got to stop at the farmhouse in order for me to make your French onion soup. But other than that, I got to go to Jack's. Let Jack's know I got the sauna stone, so maybe we can start producing a sauna of some sort, yeah? <laughs> oh, God, the barrier. Okay, all right. Oh, we should actually, while we're here... Well, you know what? We'll do it when we come back. I'll make sure to buy... Uh, excuse me. No fast traveling to the, uh, winter, uh, oh, no, that's a white stone bay. Sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. Winterberry. When I come back, I'll buy myself a, a poster again so that we can get fast travel going on, uh, at the white stone as well. All right. Winterberry is here. Let's see what we have here. Jax, buddy old pal, the sauna stones are here. <gasps> He's up on the hill. I love it. I just love him. He's probably my favorite character so far. Hello, my good man. Jax, how goes the mission? Mission accomplished. Wonderful. These will come in handy. Thank you, my friend. You are a good bear. Oh, shucks. Wait, I don't know how to feel about that one. How come? I thought compliments weren't good for you. Not the hollow ones, perhaps. But you weren't born a good bear. You are made yourself into one. The same goes for insults. Well, neither feel like the truth to me. Maybe they didn't come from the truth. Or they didn't stick the landing. Either way, it's you that has to give the green light. Let's see about warming up, shall we? That hot head of yours can only radiate so much warmth. I don't want to brag, but uh, it is positively steaming. 
Yes, well, eventually you'll have to burn a couple of logs. Take this and make a little heating room. Ah, yes. Awesome. There it is. Uh, you've unlocked a new recipe, the old grandma boiler. Sick. I'll show you how to turn it on after. So heating. So areas with cold weather will need a utility room to compensate for the low temperatures. Utility rooms need a heater to be functional. Heaters are loud and messy, which means they, they carry a negative decoration score. Uh, utility rooms will apply the negative decoration score in an area of effect around them. You can see the debuff area by clicking on the room, kind of same as the kitchen as well. Heating. In order to make heaters function, you will need to add fuel to them. Uh, if the temperature drops too low, the heaters will kick in and consume fuel at the rate of one per hour, granting heat. Oh god, that sounds like a miserable micromanagement there. Uh, the goal of heating is to never drop below the level that guests require going over will have no effect. Better heaters will give more heat and have smaller impact on decoration, okay? Each utility room will heat up an entire building, so resorts will, with multiple buildings will require multiple uh, utility rooms. That sounds hard. I don't know about you, but that sounds actually hard. <laughs> it, it, just, just, just a tidbit. Maybe just a tidbit hard, possibly. I don't know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of... Um, of barren breakfast if you guys did please make sure to hit that like and i will see you all in the next video wherever that may be and do as always take care she said we better of his best friend